Welcome to a yoga moment with Musalan. My name is Laura Erdman Lentz. In today's moment, we are going to look at Shalabhasan, or locust pose. I love this pose. I think it is the most important pose that we can be doing for those of us in our culture, in a culture in which we spend most of our time with our hands in front of us, protecting our hearts in a slump, forward head position. Shalambasan is spectacular for countering all of that. Now, Shalambasan is lying on the belly and lifting the body up. So I'll just show you what Shalambasan is. It looks like this. What I'd like to do is actually show you a variation of Shalambasan that is even more quintessential for people in our culture, if you will. And that is with the arms overhead. So when you bring the arms overhead and you lift the arms overhead and then lift the body up and then come down and bring the arms down, when you lift the arms from this position, you're strengthening the lower trapezius muscle. The lower trapezius muscle is right about at the lower to mid rib cage area. If you bring your hands back behind your back, about as high as you can, the back of the hands hit where the lower trapezius is. Now our lower trapezius tends to be a very weak muscle and in fact in some of you, you're going to find you can't even engage it at all. It becomes weak because we use the upper trapezius so much in our, in our lives. That whole upper, all this tension that we carry up here and the shoulders raised. I actually live in Minnesota and we call it the Minnesota shrug in the, in the wintertime when it's cold and we're keeping ourselves warm. We create a lot of tension up here. So releasing the Minnesota shrug. But it's also true for all the typing that we do and the tension that we hold and the worries and stresses that we carry in our life. We, we hold all of that tension right in our shoulders. And this upper trapezius then counters the work of the lower trapezius. The lower trapezius job is to bring the shoulders down. And if you have the upper trapezius engaged all the time, holding tension and pulling up, and a lower trapezius that's very underutilized, it grows weak and there's nothing to pull the shoulders down. So teaching students Shalambhasan and doing this in your own practice is a powerful way to begin to wake up that muscle, increase its strength, and help counter that shoulder up position. It can be tricky though because when you do this pose, you can use the upper trapezius, which of course is the last thing we want to use. So when, you're, when you lie flat and you bring your arms up, notice if your shoulders are coming up, if you're creating tension, I wish I could get the camera right over me so you could see this. If you're creating tension in this upper shoulder area, all you're doing is exacerbating that upper trapezius engagement. Instead, you want to draw the shoulder blades down your back and lift from that lower trapezius spot and bring the arms up. So if the hands move forward on the floor, you're for sure engaging the upper trapezius. They need to draw down, shoulder blades into the back, and then lift up. If you still can't quite get it, I can't tell you how many people struggle. We, we joke at how heavy our arms must be. Um, so if you're still struggling because you can't get it up, it's just because the muscle is, has, has actually fallen asleep. What's actually happened is when you don't use a muscle a lot or at all, you lose the neural pathways. You lose the pathway from your brain to those muscle fibers to engage. Now, luckily, you get them back. The brain is actually remarkably resilient and elastic, and it can get all of those neural, neural pathways back. All you have to do is wake up those muscles. Did you ever play this game when you were little? You know, when you wrap your hands like this, and then someone would say, you know, pick a finger and, and move it, and you couldn't. But if they touched it, you could. And it helped wake up those neural pathways. Well, the same is true here. So if you can put some sort of weight in your middle to upper back, and a great one actually is um, if you have an eye bag or a bag of rice, that works really well. If you have a yoga buddy, they can put their hands right there. That's what we do in class. We use partners. And you want to feel the contraction under whatever that is and just begin to play with, you know, lifting a finger or, I mean, excuse me, lifting your hands but leaving your fingers down and begin to feel that engagement. 
if, if at any point the upper trapezius takes over, you must stop because all that will do is keep the old pattern going. You've got to stop it right away and just do a little bit. Now another variation you can do if you're really struggling here is to alternate. So you do left leg, right arm, and then change sides. And that makes it much easier as well. This is a fabulous exercise to add to your practice, just to counter our everyday living and to bring more balance into your body. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's yoga moment, and I hope you use this pose in your practice to create more balance. If you'd like to have uh, any more information about me, learn about my book, Awaken to Joy, or attending retreats with me. I have two wonderful upcoming retreats coming up um, or a yoga teacher training. Check my website at muselaura.com. Thank you for joining me and have a wonderful day. Namaste.